So you're looking to build your first design portfolio website. So you can start getting clients or you wanna get hired for your first design job. Now, what if you would like designing your own portfolio website and then developing it can seem a bit intimidating sometimes. And I'm a Webflow developer, so I have an advantage that I can build my own platform. But maybe you have just got experience in UX design or UI design and you're, you're looking to build a website, but you want something that is simple, easy, straightforward, for you to build that you can do yourself. Now, I'm gonna help you out with this today. So, to cut to the chase, the easiest, the fastest way to build a website is just to customize a template. So if you can go to Webflow Templates, I'll put a link in the description. So we can go Design Portfolio and look through probably hundreds of templates here. And a lot of them are really nice. Now, the only problem with these templates is that they can be quite advanced. I mean, you can see here, there is, you know, you have objects that are overlapping, quite a lot of designs that are gonna be hard for a beginner to customize. Now, I want you to click the second link in the description and it's gonna take you to this page right here. This is a simple one-page portfolio that you can customize for free. Those other ones you gotta pay money for, mine is for free. It's very clean, very simple. And as a developer myself on Webflow, I've I've set this up to be very easy to customize for you. First thing I want you to do is click clone in Webflow. Now, once you click clone in Webflow, this is going to take the project and put it into your own Webflow account. Now, if you haven't got one already, make sure that you have a Webflow account so that you can actually do this. Again, it's all free and this is very accessible for anybody who's just starting customizing. So without further ado, create that site. My first portfolio, I'm gonna create that site now we're going to open up Webflow here. Now this might seem a little bit intimidating, but I'm going to show you it's actually very, very simple to use the way that I've designed this. So you're going to notice here that we have a page wrapper and we've got a bunch of sections here. Now as we scroll down, we're going to see that we've got a classic hero section. We've got some, we've got sections that maybe you might not want. So if you don't have client logos yet, you can just click on the section here. The section is the highest level of the content inside the wrapper. So if you want to delete any section or any basically chunk of the page, we delete the section. So again, I could press delete here and I can totally remove that section. So the first step I want you to do is to go through and find which sections you don't want and delete them. Uh, let's just say you want all of them. And the first things that you can start doing is just customizing the headings. So we can go here and you notice that this, some of this text is purple. It's because I've added a purple text span and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna say, your value proposition is what you ideally wanna put here. So I'd say, helping SaaS companies uh, build better products. So that's, if you were say like a product designer, that would probably work. And you could highlight, so what I've done here is I've you highlight the text and you can put this little paintbrush here wrapped with span and this means you can actually type here um, I've already done purple purple text so you can actually highlight parts of your heading which might be you want to draw attention to so that's one thing you can do but also you can change this purple text to be what if I want it to be um, orange text orange text then you come down here to the Kind of like Photoshop, basically. You would come here and you would pick maybe, okay, so I want this to be like a nice red orange here. For example, there you go. That's how you change the color of that text. And you can highlight any text on the page with this technique. Now, you can actually type, type in here a bit more what you want to do. A bit more about your service would be very nice. And, um, and here we've got an image frame. And notice that we have these classes stacked here. Now this is, again, it might seem a bit uh, advanced at first, but all you gotta do is delete the classes that you don't want. So rounded, it's gonna become square. And when we have purple here, uh, we can actually just literally rename this class and like we did with the text, just change the color. So let's just say this, this orange text is now our brand color. So we're gonna actually add this, click here to add as a swatch, create. Now we can come to this image frame. Let's say we do want rounded. Um, but first we need to actually rename this class to orange. Set the background to being orange. And there we go, orange, rounded. 
And so now you're starting to get the, the idea is that this is a, just a very simple way that you can customize a website and make it yours. So maybe you want this button to be uh, black, for example. So button is the generic button class. So we want to make this, let's just say black. And you can type in here your, your name. So you can go Finn Dollamore my design portfolio. Now down here, you can actually choose different partner logos. And so literally just by clicking on the logo, pressing the cog button here, replace image. And in fact, you can just upload any image from your computer that you want. So download the images of your client's logos and upload them here. It's very, very simple. You have your services layout where you, again, you can change the, um, this section has a light blue class. So again, we can change this to even light orange background color. We can go to a normal orange here, but maybe we want this to be like a little bit uh, softer because it is quite a strong orange. So maybe we just bring it back all the way to, to here, just as, as an example. So your services, and you can add in a little icon for the service. You can also delete the icon and have no icons if you like. Again, it's, it's up to you to design this the way you like to. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is already mobile responsive. So you will see here that everything is already uh, very responsive on your mobile phone. So the idea is that after you've, you've uh, customized this, you won't have much work to do, if any, on mobile because it will look nice already. Coming down here, we have another layout for services. So if you prefer to have your services, again, laid out in this way, as opposed to this way, you can delete uh, one of these sections and choose the one you like the most. Now, here we have the portfolio section, which is really the key part that gets you hired. It's what work you do. You could say, um, architecture website. And then you wanna upload, a, uh, again, exactly how you would upload a client logo. Any image in Webflow, you click the cog and you can replace the image, uh, uploading it from your computer. Now you can write a little short description about the, about the website that you've built or about the project that you've done. And you can also add in here these items, like these are like sort of tags that you can tell people what was in the project. So maybe you did the branding, maybe even did the development and the design. So you could just write those down here. You also have a link to the live project. So if you have the URL of the website or the, or maybe it was something that's gonna be displayed on the website, you would just add the link to the page. Uh, that, that, that your work is on. So you wanna click the cog again, and you can see the URL here. Literally paste your URL in place of the hash, and that is good to go. It will now link out to that page. Uh, I would also say open a new tab because you want people to stay on your page. So make sure you click open new tab so that you can re retain that uh, user on your page. Again, if anytime you wanna change the color of these uh, list items, what we can do is click the list here, and we can see that this color has been applied. So we can actually just put our branding color there. And as you can see, that is now branded the way we want it to be. Again, I've added this one is slightly different where this one includes a, an eyebrow text. So instead of these uh, list here, we can just have our eyebrow above the, the project title. And again, we can just change this to be orange. And again, it's now starting to look more like our brand. Now we have our testimonials and we have a couple of different types here. There's this centered single testimonial that we can do. Uh, there's also uh, this testimonial section where we have uh, like two next to each other. Again, it's just up to you what you want to do. So maybe you want to change the background color, change the text, upload a photo. And again, these are all mobile responsive. So they're all ready to go on mobile. And there's an about me section. So if you want to talk a bit about yourself, again, change the background color of the section, type whatever text in here and upload a photo of yourself. Again, super easy. And then a contact form. So we have here, this can basically stay all the same. Upload your image, change the text. It's very, very simple. And here we go again. The last section here is just an email where you can write your email down and just a very simple footer. Highly recommend that you dive into some Webflow tutorials as well because this is not 
a long enough video to show you how to use Webflow. It's an advanced tool, but everything that you've seen in the video now will show you how to customize this. And like I said before, it is already perfect to go on mobile phones. It's ready to basically be used. So go ahead, customize it, and let me know how you get on. This is the fastest way to get your design portfolio up and running today if you've got some portfolio pieces. So I really hope you like the content. Let me know if you've got any more questions down below and we'll be in touch very soon.